What's up with it, my IPA family? It's your boy, L APA, coming through with another video, some solid content for your mind, the soul, you already know. And as always, man, you guys already know what we're doing here, man. We're kicking them tails for the YGs, the troubled youth, and the reoffenders so that they can pick a better life and not go back or not to go into it to begin with, right? And as you can tell by the good old caption, that thumbnail, that unya. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go with my second uh, um, battery on an inmate. Um, and this one occurred and uh, in Pleasant Valley on B Yard, on B Yard. And what I mean by my second uh, um, battery, that's uh, not including the stabbings that I did prior to this. So on this one, man, um, they actually assigned this dude, man. He had never been on a mission before. That's what I used to call him, missions. And uh, he was uh, he was hard-headed. You know, he was hard-headed. Um, been more on that later. So, this dude from... Uh, um, <clears throat> I guess this dude uh, um, needed to get removed, of course. He owed a lot of money. Um, at the time, the homie from Fresno had the yard... Um, I think from local stress or something like that for those of you from Fresno if you guys are familiar with that neighborhood um, I personally don't know too much of it because I'm not from Fresno um, But anywho uh, So he had the yard. He didn't want to stab this dude off the yard. So, you know, we we're doing just removals and uh, So yeah, man um, We went out we went out to the yard. We we're talking to the yard the, to the um, Yavero, one, um, one of the mess on the homie that had the, the yard and it was gonna be me and the homie from North Hollywood locals. And uh, I was all right, cool. I was actually talking to a homie from Toonerville at the time. <clears throat> and uh, I knew that they wanted it, they wanted me to go on this mission for a certain reason. And at first I was like, nah, homie, I ain't gonna do this one, dog. I, I only do pegadas, you know? And I told him that. I told him that I only do pegadas. I don't want to do no batteries. I had just came from New Corcoran. Uh, um, we were off lockdown, uh, the infamous lockdown in Pleasant Valley the, the, after the two and a half year lockdown that I did. And so I told him like, Man, bro, I only do pegadas, bro. Not because I thought it was better than anybody, but it's because it's like, bro, if I'm gonna go to the shoe, I'm gonna just go. I'm gonna go to the shoe for a real reason. I already did beat downs. That's that's behind me. I'm gonna do pegadas, bro. Uh, that's all I've been doing since. So. Um, I tell him that he didn't like it and I walked away and I walked away and the homie from Tuna Road caught up to me and uh, I've told this story before but I didn't tell this part of it um, he caught up to me the homie Mono shout out to Mono wherever he's at um, that dude's with the business man uh, he had taken off on a, on, on, a, on a CO in Sentinella and anywho fast forward to what I was talking about um, he catches up to me he's like hey fool, what are you doing he's like bro that dude, the other dude, the mesero, not the food that had the yard, but the other one and his boy, they were on the mess side, didn't like me for what one reason or another. And he's like, bro, you better go on this. I'm like, for real? Like, it's like that. He's like, yeah, it's like that, fool. I was like, well, fuck. You know, I ain't gonna get removed, you know? So, ain't nothing, man. It's just a simple beat down. I guess they didn't like the fact that I was independent. Um, I would ask questions. You know, us as sureños uh, or ex-sureños, are allowed to ask questions you know and they don't like that even though it's a, it's it's a right for us to do so power does not like to be questioned you guys know that you know for anybody that's uh, politically savvy even like uh domestic politics geopolitics or even prison politics right the powers that be do not like to be questioned um and because i knew it was up you know i would put my cap on all the time my thinking cap and you know i would ask my questions man and if it wasn't legit it wasn't legit and they didn't like that so i didn't know that they were uh, uh they were just waiting for me to say no or, or waiting for me to get caught up Any, anything they were waiting for something for them to get me and the homie from tuner shout out to him wherever he's at in this world uh blessings to him he he told me like, hey bro <laughs> You need to do this. I was like, damn, I didn't even know it was like that. So I went back and I told the homie that had a yard. He was the one that I was really close with. Um, I was like, okay, man, I got it. Don't trip. So anywho, it was going to be me and the homie from North Hollywood Locals. Um, 
And uh, I don't know where, bro, like right before we were gonna do it, and they hadn't even told us a target yet. But right before we were gonna do it, um, the homie pulls me to the side on the yard again and he tells me, hey, it's not it's not gonna be, it, it's, it's a change of plans. We're gonna get the homie from North Hollywood Locals now. And I was like, damn, for real? And my point in telling this story, several points, this is how fast your fate can change. You could go from being the victim, though you could be from you could go from being the aggressor to being the victim in a matter of somebody's whim, emotion, uh, uh anything. Um, but at least this one had a reason. And the reason was the homie from the Hardywood Locals was going on that holiday because he, because he owed a lot of money. And you know, the homeboy was with the business, he had rip, he had been removed from several yards and that doesn't make him with the business that's not why i said that he's willing to do what he needs to do but he's also a fuck up and he stayed strong after several removals himself he had been removed at least three times and there's some dudes that get removed before they get they go lock get, they check in they lock it up before they even get touched so at least this dude i knew that this dude at least had fucking held his water even though he fucked up he held his water and he, you know, he steps up to the plate when he fucks up. So, so I was just like, damn, that's unfortunate. You know, uh, it is what it is. But he had disrespected. I guess he owed money to some white boy, uh, 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 to a, a wood, you know, no disrespect. When I say white boy, I don't mean no disrespect. Um, but one of the woods, man, one of my white brothers, um, he owed him some fatty eye and the dude tried to collect and this dude disrespected him. And you can't disrespect other races, you know, um, if somebody's coming up to collect their fatty or whatever, you respectfully say whatever you need to say, and that's that. But he disrespected him uh, because this dude was just a knucklehead, you know? So because of that, he went from the chance that they had given him to be able to remove somebody uh, to now him being the victim. So they assigned back to the dude, the inexperienced dude on his first holiday, the homie from Orange, he was from Orange County. He wasn't from no neighborhood. He was a resident, as we like to refer them uh, <clears throat> to as. Um, so we snuck out we were supposed to sneak out because you know i i i couldn't be out there on the weekends i was a to b and the homie was already on the yard and so i snuck out during pell call for those of you guys that know what that is when they do medications in the in in the middle of the day uh pill call pill call pill call and they open up the door for whoever's in the day room to go out to the yard on the weekend to get their pills uh the medline so that's what i did Showing my ID like I had pills and shit. I don't got no fucking pills. But the cops don't know that. You know, they don't check. They get lazy. So I walk out there, snuck out. Boom, I'm out there. And I walk up to the homie. And I told him, what's up? How do you want to do this? He's like, fuck that homie. I'm just going to take off on him. And I was just like, fuck, man. This dude right here, man. It's important to make sure that you're on the same page with the homie that you're going to fucking go on a mission with. Why? Because anything could go wrong. You know, um, so this dude just starts walking towards him, you know, and he's on the other side of the yard by the bars. He's doing his bar workout, doing whatever he's doing. <laughs> and uh, this dude was strung out. Keep in mind, he was strung out, but he used to work out and all that. So it is what it is. So this dude keeps walking straight to him. So in my mind, I'm thinking like, well, this freaking YG right here is going to freaking go ahead and, and rush him. Uh, keep in mind, man, this dude from the Hollywood Locals was like at least... Uh, he's like six foot at least. He, that dude was tall. Um, and this dude that I'm talking about from Orange County that went on the mission with me is five six, five five on a good day. And uh, I decided to go through the other side. Boom, around him, and I was gonna wait for him because he wanted the glory, man. And he told me this himself, and I'll tell you that later. But he just wanted to, he just wanted to show out, show off, and show out. And to me, like, I don't care if I rush somebody first or not. I already done several holidays. I don't care. That's, that shit doesn't matter to me. So I just, being the, the wiser dude and being the experienced individual, I knew that all I had to do now was back him up. So he goes towards him. He's walking towards him in the middle of the yard. He's going, he's going, he's going, he's going. I go to the side on the gravel. But I'm still, like, maybe 20 steps behind him through the side. So the moment that this fool comes up to him, doom, 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 walks up to him, he throws a punch, obviously came short because this dude's short. The first three hits that the dude from North Hollywood Locals 
swung, hit him, boom, 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 all in the all in the face. The last one split his. The first one broke his glasses. The second one hit his nose, and the third one sliced his freaking eyebrow open. And when that happened, I was like, "Oh shit!" And boom, I started running. And as soon as I started running, because this fool was gonna mop this dude up. I grabbed that big ass dude, grabbed him, and just took him to the ground. I body slammed him. And I still remember to this day, the moment I grabbed him and I body slammed him, I, all I heard was, oh shit, from people that were watching because I, bro, like, that gravel hurts. There's rocks, dirt, hard dirt, and the, you know, and the hot ass sun went down hard bro i took him down and after that it was a wrap for him we just started smashing boom 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 on him you know they came man we were on him so long bro that they didn't even pepper spray us that's how long we were on him we were tired and that dude you know he proned out everything we did our thing they cuffed us took us to the program office and that was that you know when i got back to the hole the homie they gave it. Oh man, AJ. I'm not gonna say his full name, but it starts with the J. AJ. Wherever you're at, man. Yeah, he's from Footerton. I said my bro. I ain't trying to clown on me, but it was funny because uh, when they gave him his glasses back, that fool had his glasses taped up. <laughs> because I mean, that fool broke his glasses, and he had a freaking band-aid right here with some stitches. Freaking glasses, freaking all bad, bro. And I told him, you see, when we're in the hole. We were back in the home Pleasant Valley. I was like, man, I told you. This is why I told you. Hey, well, how are we gonna do this? He's like, I know. I didn't know, man. This is my first time. I just wanted to, you know, I just wanted to get mines. You know, I wanted my strike. I was like, man, bro, cut it out, bro. Cut it out, bro. It's not that serious. You know, I've never been the type to talk like that, man. Like, oh, I gotta earn my stripes. This is that, bro. You handle your business because you're supposed to handle your business, and that's just what it is. You know, uh, I think that just for people that are inexperienced, they they want that gang life, they watch movies and use certain terminologies. But anywho, he's like, yeah, but you saved my ass, bro. Thank you, bro. I was like, man. But I used to always clown after that, man. We used to go uh, to Cage Yard with all the homies, man, and. He <laughs> We used to get a clown up. For those of you that know the camaraderie uh, between uh, uh, the, the homies and shit, when we're back there working out, talking shit, it's all in good nature. It's all in good nature, man. But that was my that was my second um, battery uh, little bullshit ass shoot term that I did. Um, you know, I, I did a, a anywho. Um, the homie from North Hollywood locals, of course, um, big dude, whatnot. Um, I don't know whatever ended up happening to him. He got kicked out. Obviously, he was deemed a victim once again. Um, he didn't check in, you know, at the time. He didn't check in. Um, I, I don't know if he's still active or not. Uh, but everywhere he used to go, man, unfortunately, he used to run up debts and get removed. And, you know, that's just the type of dude that he was, you know. Um, but, yeah, man. But that being said, though, man, uh, if you guys got any questions, man, make sure to hit that like button, man. Uh, subscribe to the channel. If you guys want to hear any any other stories, uh, any specific things, if you got any questions, hit them in the comments. Appreciate you guys. You guys already know one life saved is one life blessed. A smart man learns from his mistakes, but a wise man learns from other people's mistakes. APA, I'm out.